acceleration and uniform circular motion. Why is it the way it is? To begin with, let's define two points on the circle. Draw the radius to each of those points, and also draw the velocities at those same points. Notice v1 is perpendicular to this radius, v2 is perpendicular to this radius, and these two radii have angle theta between them. From here you should be able to tell that the angle between v1 and v2 is also theta. And this is going to be our change in velocity vector. Since we know both velocity magnitudes are the same and both the radius magnitudes are the same, we know that these two triangles must be similar. And so we know the change in velocity over velocity is equal to the change in radius over radius. And so we find this expression for change in velocity. Of course, acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. And plugging in this value for delta v, this is what we get for acceleration. Of course, we're interested in the instantaneous rate of change. And so we have a small theta. And so we know delta r approaches delta s, which is the arc length. And of course, delta s over delta t is the velocity. Bam, we're done our derivation. Never accept a formula without seeing its proof.